So the very first basic thing from the ground up I want to show you is gold bait. It is the thumping that is continually done on the face of the guitar by the guitarist. And I try to do literally a thumping using the fleshy part of my fingers, not necessarily the nails. Anything can happen, and you might end up using your nails for things, but it's basically this, and I put a lot of weight into it. In this case, I'm doing a pattern of three with an empty beat, one, and then two and three are the thumps. One, two, three, four, five. And two groups of three make six. Two groups of six make a complete cycle of 12, which is very common to a form called bulerias. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And here I'm kind of also imitating the hand clapping that's done with this bulerias form that would have been done. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And you notice my voice has almost a different pattern as my hands. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So there are these also little cross uh, conflicts between one kind of accent and another kind of accent. But we don't have to worry about that right now. We're just going to worry about how to make a nice tone out of our golpe. One, two, three. Notice my thumb is anchored on the sixth string, and I'm going to kind of rotate my hand and control it at the same time. Next thing we'll do is we'll hear a recording of a traditional kind of Bulerius piece, and I'll try to play over it, and you could also join me in listening to that and trying to keep the time really steady with the piece of Bulerius. So here you can see I'm trying to keep my place in a very complex kind of sound because there are lots of little melodies um, going on and details in the flamenco song and I'm just pretty much trying to hold it steady. So let's move from that basic thing. I want you to remember the tone of the golpe is very important. Obviously there are lots of rhythms. Uh, that we can do lots of variations other than the open beat and the two beats. And we'll get back to those at another time. But right now, let's move to another just basic technique out of context, which is a strumming technique called rasqueado. And everybody knows about guitar strumming, that kind of thing. Rasqueado is very special because it holds the fingers back. It really you can practice this in the air by holding your fingers behind your thumb and then pressing up against the thumb and launching them like a bow and arrow sort of and achieving a pretty fast velocity. And that's going to translate into a nice loud sound on the guitar that could be heard above things like people shouting and clapping their hands and uh, footwork and a singer so, you know, when flamenco was invented, there were no microphones. So we had to all play out and be strong. And this technique was developed for that. And you can experiment with it. Here I can move my thumb into the hole and it's... Or moving it back. A little bit more brash. I can, ask, I can add my thumb as an upbeat or as an upstroke, so to speak, and even make a bigger sound. And I can hook some together, that kind of thing. So this is rasqueado, a rasqueado plus a golpe. So those go very well together. Um, I can make a soft kind of 
Cross Gallo. As in the case of, of Sigiria. That's the faster piece. Which brings us to something else. So we've had the colpe, we've had that thumb, and we've introduced Cruscaldo. Now we're going to see the power of the thumb in flamenco. It's really quite unique. It does a lot more than in a lot of other guitar techniques, especially classical, where, you know, every single finger and the, and the thumb are equally involved, just like a piano player. But in flamenco, the thumb is really king, and if you were deprived of the use of your fingers for some reason, or you wanted to practice your thumb, you could play almost every song in flamenco with just the thumb. <laughs> Here, of course, your left hand is helping you out by playing what's called hammered notes and legato notes. But look how the thumb can move to all the strings. All the way up, up from the sixth string to the first string. So with just a thumb and maybe my pointer finger, I can play a lot of music. So there's my thumb. And my thumb has, you know, there are two sides to a thumbnail. You can use it sort of like a pick but like with a pick. So when I lift it up, I'm using the back of my nail, I'm using the front of my nail. That kind of sound is very exotic sounding. So from there, um, I wanted to just show you a stronger use of the thumb. A thumb coming up really fast, followed by a slap. It's very dynamic. And this is used for a piece called rumba. A little different from the South American rumba. In fact, people say that the South American rumba came first and then it was reinterpreted by the Spanish gypsies not important, they're both great forms. So in, again, using your thumb, now the thumb and the golpe can happen at once. It's called a grab, like if you do it in the air, just like you're grabbing something. That means you do your thumb and your thumb at the same time. You get a really powerful sound. Then you come up with your thumb, then you slap and you choke off the sound, like that. That's choking off the sound. Thumb up, choke off the sound. Putting it together for rumba. There's another component to that. It's a little bit of action at the end of the pattern with your pointer finger. Up, down, up. It's really nice with the E minor chord. It really sounds rich. And you can alternate that with a B7 chord like this. Here, remember I'm grabbing. You can hear the, my fingers striking this almost invisible tap plate that I have. 
and you will need nylon strings for this. You'll probably need a real flamenco guitar for this one. Here's an extra slap. <laughs> 